We're looking at how forever chemicals impact the body, and specifically we're looking at how they impact things on a cellular level. Forever chemicals seem to have really severe impacts on lipid metabolism, which of course that translates to a whole body level where we're not able to process fats as we normally should be able to. The special issue that we have coming out shortly, of which I am one of the editors, so is Dr. Shubham Disgupta um, as well here at Clemson. That special issue, it will cover several other papers and what some other toxicity issues, toxicity of the placenta, toxicity development, aquatic toxicity, you know, different species, uh, toxicokinetics of a lot of different PFAS. Since there's 5,000 different PFAS chemicals that are, are available in the environment, what are these other chemicals causing? What are their half-lives? What are their effects um, when it comes to type 2 diabetes and development um, and placental problems and obesity and so on? We are a small portion of that special issue, our lab, but we are a big part of making sure that PFAS and some of the, the um, our knowledge of the toxicity and its distribution is increasing and working with two EPA members, Denise McMillan and Barbara Wetmore, and trying to get that information out there.